Brought to you by Subscribe Today Sebastian Ogier leads Rally Mexico after a disastrous Friday for Hyundai left Thierry Newville the lowest placed world rally car and its other two cars sidelined from the lead fight. Reigning world champion Ogier was a class apart compared to title rivals Newville and Autonic on Friday, winning three of the full-length gravel stages on his way to establishing a 14.8 seconds lead despite his early road order position. Despite picking up a puncture on the Los Minas stage, Ogier was relatively unaffected and dropped only 4.2 to his closest rival Alfin Evans. Newville had also suffered a puncture on the very first stage this morning, the first pass of El Chocolate. He was less fortunate than Ogier, losing over 40s and dropping to the rear of the WRC field for the rest of the day. His Hyundai teammates had initially fared much better, with Andreas Mikkelsen leading at midday service. But come the rerun of El Chocolate, he was forced to pull over and retire with as yet unspecific damage to his I-20, Donnie Sordo, making his first WRC appearance this year in place of Sebastian Loeb, then became Ogier's closest rival, less than five seconds behind after the rerun of Ortega. His challenge came to an end immediately afterwards, a battery issue stranding him on the road section between Ortega and Las Minas and forcing his retirement. Hyundai's Woz handed M Sports Evans second place and promoted led Toyota driver Chris Meek to third, the duo separated by 6.3 s. A strong time from Evans on the afternoon pass of El Chocolate, along with dust slowly filling the cabin of Meek's Yaris on both Ortega and Las Minas, caused their gap to expand as the afternoon progressed. Jari Mighty Latvale looked set to end the day fourth but retired at the time control for the Autodromo de Leon Super Special, his Yaris running out of steam with a suspected alternator failure. Latva appeared to have been nursing the problem all afternoon, having arrived at several stage ends revving the engine of his Yaris. His Toyota teammate Tonic was the main beneficiary, moving up to fourth place on the Leon Super Special despite struggling all day with Rhodes sweeping his first driver on the road. He demoted Asapeka Lappi to fifth, having caught up with him suddenly when the Citroen driver lost time on Ortega by clipping a tree and pitching his C3 into a spin. A despondent Newville suggested he has nothing to fight for after the Los Minas stage, yet finished the day 6th 21.6s behind Lappi. Though he is the lowest placed WRC car still running, Newville appears set to start fourth on the road on Saturday rather first because Mickelson, Sordo and Lotvalo are all set to return under Rally 2, Temu Suninen, who retired early on the morning pass of El Chocolate, will not join the Rally 2 returnees, having clipped a rock face that destroyed his Ford Fiesta. The high rate of attrition has promoted Bolivian teenager Marco Bulacia Wilkinson to 7th place overall in Ishkota Fabia R5. Bulacia Wilkinson also leads the WRC2 support category, trading places with 2019 Race of Champions winner Benito Guerra in the morning loop before establishing a 9.8s advantage by day's end. Alberto Heller is third in WRC2 and rounds out the top 10, moving up a place at the expense of sole WRC2 pro entrant Lukasz Pieniasek, who retired with front-left damage to his Ford Fiesta R5.